What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. We are getting ready to start on part two of the cherry fruit bowl, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know that because, uh, you know, the title and whatnot. So if you, if you haven't seen part one, <laughs> go on and hop into your time machine, go check that one out, and then you'll figure out how we ended up here. Uh, for all you guys that have <laughs> seen part one, <laughs> For all you guys that have uh, seen part one or just want to uh, go on through from here on out, um, I'll let you know that I got a hold of my buddy Elon. He was able to send up a rocket and recover our blank before it actually ended up on the moon. So it is back in our possession. And I'm just going to give you guys a little fast forward uh, just so that the beginning of the video isn't awkward. I cut out a bunch of uh, dickering and nonsense that. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear anyway. Um, I busted out the mortise on the blank. Probably a bit of uh, resonance and imbalance combination, whatever. Um, ah. What are you doing? Let's get it on. Ah. What is happening? You! I'm in the video! Here, I'll tell him. We're going to make it. The bowl. It's time to make the bowl. <laughs> All right, so after running it for a couple minutes, I can see that this glue joint isn't going to hold. I think what I'm gonna try to do here, since it's relatively stable now with the tailstock in place, I'm gonna do my best to cut a tenon in on this side, get her spun around. We're gonna have to lose this whole backside down past our original mortise and start over. Yay! Yeah, well, let's get it over with. I'm not gonna do itself.
do. Well, shit. <laughs> I don't know if that's what we wanted. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, well. sort this then if we hit it on the inside uh, how do we want to do this we cut this off sand this off this urethane thing's probably just gonna clog my paper um, made the bowl a little stubbier now. I don't know if I like that or not. Not really. be able to sand through that. I think we're looking pretty decent now. Back to sand. But I think this time around we're gonna get started with 80. 
uh, in hopes that we don't push through this sapwood too fast. finish one more time another six coats of our uh, general finishes water urethane hybrid all right let's do it If you guys are uh, thinking about using this stuff, run the lathe in between coats. It dries in like, I don't know, five minutes. The bottle says 30, but uh, with the lathe spinning, it goes a lot faster. Check back with you guys when I get this uh, build up. Here's what we got. I got uh, six coats of this finish on here. I am certainly not going to even attempt to polish this up until after we get this hollowed out. So uh, the moment of truth is upon us. I'm gonna get this spun around and we're gonna try again, do some hollowing.
That's us. For some more sanding. We do it nice, cause we do it twice. Sometimes, even thrice. Let's check out what we got going on. <laughs> all right, so we're all hollowed out. We are sanded now. I think I went to 600. So I am not seeing any radial marks on the inside of this bowl. Uh, we're gonna get after getting our finish in on the inside start working to the end guys I got uh, I don't know five or six more of these coats in store check back with you then uh, in between coats I always let the lathe run with the air work around it helps it dry out exponentially quicker we're gonna be cutting each coat down uh, with 600 grit and, uh, I'll see when we hit 
coat number six or seven or you know whenever I'm happy with uh, what we're looking at. guys well stop counting the coats I don't know probably six seven eight I don't, know. I don't know I put a couple on top here also on top of whatever I had going uh, I just want to make sure I don't sand through it and now it's time to polish out we're gonna do a dry sand through the micro mesh Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more steps. <laughs> but uh, nah, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm liking the shine. I'm liking the way it's bringing out the grain. Got some good shine in the sapwood here. Just gonna work on through it. And uh, by the way, this is a dry micro mesh sand out this stuff uh, sands real nice really easy doesn't really I mean it it will eventually clog up the micro mesh but you can just blow it out with the air not a big deal oh and ladies this stuff uh, works great on uh, not only shining up your fingernails but also your entire hand I don't know just throwing that out there <laughs> Now because this is a live edge bowl, we're going to have to shut down between each uh, sanding just so we can apply to the wings or, you know. I got some peaks and valleys and you just can't really get after the peaks properly when the lathe is spinning. But all you're really trying to do is, I don't know if you can see any of this variation, but there's bright spots and dull spots. You just want to make pretty much everything dull until it brightens up, if that makes any sense. first run through the micro mesh is the most important um, once you get everything leveled down now keep in mind we're starting this is a 1500 grit pad so once you get it leveled down all the way through then you're just bringing your polish up but if you skip through too fast then you'll be left with peaks and valleys so we just want to make everything flat It was a bit of a long haul, but I can't lie. I am very happy with the way this came out. Um, the, the piece itself, loads of character, lots of great subtle coloration. Very, very happy with this finish. Um, it feels like it looks, it's like glass. 
I will leave some slow rollers at the end as usual. But uh, yeah guys, um, if you like this stuff, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, weekly videos to come. Uh, DukeOfHeritage.com If uh, there's anything in any of the videos that you see that you like, uh, check out the store over at uh, DukeOfHeritage.com uh, We're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, it's all uh, just Duke Heritage on both platforms. Um, other than that, I love you guys. See you next week. Hey guys, it's me, Todd. Welcome back to the shop. As many of you may have seen in part one, I flung the wood across the room. This is part two, where I picked it up, put it back on the lathe, and now we're gonna make a bow. Damn it.